And, uh, practice, he was a resident first in Bakersfield at Kern Medical Center. And then uh, he opened the, he became a thoracic surgeon, board certified thoracic surgeon. And he was in with Dr. Paulson for a number of years in Bakersfield. Well, Bill, you became an educator. Yeah. You went in another direction. I went into the service after I'd had two years at USC. And but then, you both went to USC. Yeah, we right. both went to USC, and so did Dick. And so did uh, Bob. And Bob did. So there was four of us there. We should mention right now that all through school, as I recall, you told me, you were always in the same class. Bill yeah. and I were, yes. And you always wore the same clothes. All the way through high school. All through. <laughs> Never went to college, college. we revolted. I'm going to show a picture on TV of what you looked like at the time of your eighth grade, grade. Eighth grade graduation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it would be very difficult to decide which one is Bill and which one is... Bill. We're still having arguments over that. Sure we picture. don't know either. <laughs> another picture that they brought in this morning, well, maybe I'll show a couple. Here's the uh, one taken in 1925. hope you can see this. But you'll notice the haircuts they had. Those haircuts seem to be coming back. They're back in style <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> One more, and this shows uh, all the twins in Taft at the time. Well, you were pretty little. Uh, yeah, we were about eight. You were uh, seven at this end right here. Mm -hmm. Can you see this okay? All the twins in Taft at one time back, and that's in front of the Collins School, is it not? Yes, yes. it is. Okay. The small twins are right next to us. second row on the left. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, we don't know which is which. You dress the way. We argue about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who decided? Uh, how did you decide? As an interesting work? side note, my father delivered us. And when we were born, I weighed nine and a half pounds, Ben weighed nine pounds, and Dad has told me that that was the world's record at the time. Making a total of 18, 18 and a half, half pounds. <laughs> And then when he delivered us, he made out the birth certificate, and our birth certificate re reads Ben and Bill Dykes, and then in parentheses, twins. So I might be Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no way of telling. That should have been unbelievable or not. <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> okay, Bill, you, uh, we were talking about you being an educator. Yeah. Okay, after you got out of... Service and I went into the service, and then uh, when I finished that, I went back and finished school. And uh, <clears throat> I had the service station bulk plant in Cuyama. And then I decided I wanted to teach school, and they needed somebody in Santa Maria. So I taught one year at Santa Maria High School, and then I came back out to Cuyama High School. How many years did you teach, and what, uh, what did you teach? I school? taught chemistry and physics and biology, government, some social studies classes. And uh, then after 18 years, I became the principal. And I also coached football and basketball. How many years did you coach? I coached uh, 12 years. And how yeah. many championships? 10. 10? Mm -hmm. And how many years were you principal? Eight years as principal. Well, you have a daughter that teaches up there. Now. My daughter is now the athletic director and coaches uh, basketball, softball, and volleyball. And She's trying to win more championship pennants than I had. She's liable to do that. She's, She's on her way. Good. She's <laughs> on her way. Okay, we, we talked about education briefly, but you started out in what school here in Taft? We started at Conley. We went to kindergarten to what, was, fourth grade. Yeah. Conley was just around the corner from where you live. Yeah, from there, at that time, just up the hill from us. Yeah. So you went to Conley, kindergarten through? Kindergarten through fourth grade there. But before that, before you reached the fourth grade, the family moved to uh, D Street. Yeah, up on D Street. Was it 619? 619 D. Okay, now you were about a mile and a half in school. How did you get to school? From oh, we walked some. I, I personally can't remember riding the bus. No, I never. I remember never a bus stop, but, but we walked or rode our bikes. You also then must have walked to high school. And no, we had a car. We, we got our cars. <laughs> yeah, we bought our first Model T Ford. <laughs> when when, we, were, school when school. we were in the eighth grade, we both, with the $5, $5 we paid, paid for, for our first Model T Ford. 
Well, sure, you didn't drive it. It's oh, yeah. I learned, I got a license when I was 14. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. You could get them in those days at 14. <clears throat> You're 14. Kids would love that nowadays, wouldn't they? <laughs> okay, kindergarten through fourth at Connolly. Remember any of the teachers at all? Yeah, we had um, Edith McAdam was up there, and I think she was our third grade school teacher. And uh, <clears throat> there was a Miss Butlin that used to be our teacher. It, uh, no, she's still around. Is she? I think so. And um, then at um, in the high or in the uh, Lincoln School, Miss Axtell was our eighth grade teacher. Miss mm -hmm. Kraft was our sixth grade teacher. And who was the nice one that used to teach penmanship? Miss Myers. No, that was high school. Myers. I'm what thinking of seventh grade. Were you the Maurice? Miss Maurice. Mm -hmm. Maurice. That's right. Well, she was our seventh right. grade teacher. In high school, we had a lot of different teachers. Um, I can remember Mr. Rose in physics and Mabel Myers in English. And, and uh, Miss Lyons in chemistry. Miss Pauline Lyons in <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> and so you were taking a full academic program. Yeah. Did you take foreign language? Two I took two years from Mrs. Dyer Bennett. Of German. In German. Well, two years of German in high Mr. school. Mr. Baker for Latin. Yeah. We two had two years, years of Latin. Latin and then two years of German okay. in high school. So you were getting ready and prepared to go into college right out of high school, weren't you? Right, mm -hmm. which we did. So you uh, graduated from high school in 1940. 40. Incidentally, the class of 40 was the largest uh, class ever, 272 seniors in that class. The class of 40, that was, excuse me, 41 was next. I didn't remember that. I knew we had the largest class. Yeah. 272 students. Okay, what about uh, activities? What sports did you go out for? Football, uh, boxing, boxing swimming. and swimming. Well, let's talk about boxing. Now, what, uh, they, don't, they don't see boxing anymore like we did back in those days. Now, that was a, uh, you could go out for boxing and you had to train for it, and then at the end of the semester, they would have the Golden Gloves Tournament. And they would pack out the gym for the Golden Gloves Tournament, and they had all classes. But Dad would never let Bill and me fight each other. So uh, Bill had to go up. I was a light heavyweight, so Bill had to go up to the heavyweight division. I won a Golden Glove, but I don't think he did. No, I thought Hershey Walker, Walker, be, <laughs> they Hershey Walker beat me in the finals. They did pack them in. Man, oh. alive. They were Seats up on the floor of the balcony? I have heard they had as many as 3,000 people watching that. But they I don't they know. were jammed in the gym. Okay, uh, swimming. At that time, you didn't have a swimming pool here. Now, we had the swimming team <coughs> over at the natatorium. Mr. Glenn was over there, and um, who was the big guy that taught the diving? He came on. Zecker? No. No. I can't remember. I think Mr. Glenn ran it for the high school. At first, when it, we were the first swimming team that started with a high school. And you played football four years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two Pop, years on the Bobcats and two years you on were, Pop 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 was our. What position did you play? I played right guard. And you played? Center and linebacker. Did you ever switch? Um, did you switch? No, man. Bill I was, told him what I did on uh, punt formation. We didn't even tell Dean Johnson, the coach at the time, that on punt formation, he couldn't snap the ball back hard enough to the punter. So I uh, would we'd just switch on when we were going to punt. Nobody knew the difference but us. And I centered it over his, the punter's head one day, and Dean and yanked Ben cut. out and chewed him out for it. <laughs> well, that was back in the days where you didn't have uh, the type of helmets you have today. The old leather helmets? Mm -hmm. Old leather helmets, no face no guards. Face guard. mm -hmm. Did you ever get injured uh, in the face at all? Broke my nose. Jim Shastain broke my nose for me. Now we were scrimmage in junior college. Did you get hurt? I had a cut over my eye, and that was all. What happened and, at that time? Well, I came out, and Dad put about three to five stitches in it, and I went right back in. And these guys that played football, I seen <coughs> Mr. Swearingen over there, they talk about how tired they get going one way. When I was in high school my senior year, I played all but three minutes of the entire season. And that was when I came Offense. up to get my eyes sewed up. Offense and defense. Both ways. Yeah. Both ways. 